This is a walkthrough of a character animation rig that I built from scratch in Maya for the Electronic Arts video game Tiger Woods PGA Tour 2003. The main function of this rig is to edit motion capture data. So the tools of the rig work the same way that a hand animation rig would, and by that I mean there are end effector controls for IK chains driving the legs and arms and pole vector controls driving the direction in which the knees point and the elbows point. There are IK chains driving the location of the shoulder and you can rotate these objects to fix twist in the collarbone, etc. There are twist bones for the thighs and the forearms. And uh, the difference, however, is that with this rig, uh, there's a motion capture skeleton behind the scenes, and I'll show you that now. So if I pull my rigging to the side a bit, you can see that there are actually two skeletons in this scene. The bright red skeleton is the one onto which motion capture data is loaded. And then this black skeleton here is the one to which the mesh is bound. So what you do is read in your motion capture data and if you don't want to make any changes whatsoever then the skeleton will follow that motion capture data exactly but if you do want to make changes you can layer those changes on top of your motion capture data. For this project we captured somewhere in the neighborhood of a thousand motions and we used ten or twelve different actors. We solved them all to the same skeleton in Motion Builder to the FBX format. So I'm going to go ahead and import one of those motions, select my take here, and what happens is our character now is performing the motion capture motion. And if I unhide that motion capture skeleton again and drag my skinned target skeleton off to the side, you can see that in red we have the motion capture, and over to the side we have the skin skeleton. So if you look really closely you can see that both skeletons are doing the exact same motion if I do not layer any, any edits. And the beauty of this rig is that if we wanted our character to for example stand up on one leg up on a bunker or something like that while he's doing this motion we could edit our rig tools and then when we play the motion we'll see that that edit is layered on top of the motion. So. so I've loaded up one last example file here just to show off one more tool. This is a reaction to a drive and the character lets go of the club. So right now his hands are stuck to the club and the club is driving both of the hands uh, and the arms IK chain. But then later on in the animation he lets go of the club so you can see that um, the hand starts to pass through the body there and that's because in the motion capture he's actually um, his arm is way off to the side at this point. So the beauty of this rig is that you can actually blend the hands onto and off of the prop. So you would set a key for the hand being on the club uh, and then when the character lets go you can blend the data back to following the mocap uh, and all will be well. One last thing, um, in addition to allowing the club to drive the hands, uh, as is the case with the right hand here, right now I've got it set up that way, you can also with this rig actually have the hands drive the club. So I've got another set driven key on the club itself and I can slide that over until it is lined up with the hand. And now whenever I move this hand, the club will stay in it despite uh, the motion capture having the club be elsewhere. One other neat thing that's going on behind the scenes uh, involves the IK chains. A lot of times when you build an IK chain, I built a random one out here just to give you an example, uh, problems with the knees and elbows will be that when this chain gets close to being in a straight line, it'll pop in and out of that straight position. So when you try to do a walk loop, for example, the knees will look like they're snapping into and out of a straight line. So we've got behind the scenes in here built in something to dampen that snapping. So you'll see 
when I move these up and down, instead of snapping into a straight line, they kind of ease in and out of a straight. So it makes walk loops, uh, hands on the club, that kind of stuff, a little bit easier to animate when the joint chains aren't snapping into a straight line.